So hello everyone. Today we will be solving this zero one knapsack problem, and our goal is to walk through the recursive equation, know what are all the overlapping sub problems here, and understand the minimization process of it. Okay. So we are having this problem here. This is uh, these are the items. Item one, item two, item three, item four. These are the weights associated with these items, and these are the profit associated with these items. Okay. Our maximum capacity of the next sack is six kgs, and our purpose is to uh, find out the maximum profit which we can make out of these items by including only six kgs of it and not exceeding this. So basically, what we see is that out of all these items, item one, item two, item three, and item four, we see that we are having two options at most. That is, we can include this item in our knapsack, which is this. or we cannot or we may not include this item in our knapsack similarly for this we may include this we may not include this we may include this we may not include this similarly this goes on for all so we see how to write a recursive equation for this and then we will be seeing the recursive uh, tree and understanding the overlapping sub problems which are occurring here okay so what happens is that i have taken two parameters i and w here initially i am having four items okay so my i is 4 and my w which is a capacity which is uh, 6 kg at now okay so let's not take it as w let take it as c okay so my c is 6 kg okay just okay let me write in a fresh page so i am writing a function i think you can see this i am writing a function okay i and c which is my capacity 6 kg so what i represents what are how many number of items i am having at current position so initially i will be having all the four items and entire capacity with me so i am having all the four items with me and the entire capacity of 6 kg with me now i want that whenever this function is called after all the function calling i need to return the maximum profit with it okay so since i told you that each item is having two options whether to include this or to exclude this okay so here i can see that i am standing at item number 4 okay i have two options now first option is to include this item 4 okay if i include this then what happens i am left with only three items after this okay so if i include this i get a profit of 10 and i remain with a weight which is 6 minus 3 because 3 kg has been uh, consumed okay so let us write this so if i include this what happens i get a profit of so i am assuming this as p array i am getting a profit of p of i okay p of i is 10 now okay plus what happens now after including this i said that now initially i had four items now i would be having three items since i have included this okay so my i decreases by 1 okay and how much by my weight decreases is of this index element which is 3 which is w at i okay w is the array and w at i so this is the first recursive call which is made now i said you i have another option which is excluding this okay here i have included this now i will exclude this item so if at all i exclude this item okay then what happens i get no profit and i don't consume any weight so what happens i don't gain any profit but this capacity which was before only this remains same okay oh sorry here i have not made a mistake which is this will be c minus okay if i do it correctly it is c minus okay i think you can see this just write in your notes freshly okay so what happens here i forgot uh, to mention that time that it was 6 kg initially ha huh, this step was including this okay i included this item so after including this what happens now this 3 kg got deducted from my 6 kg so this will happen okay this is 6 initially this was 6 and this is 3 so the remaining weight will be now 3 
what happens if we exclude this is no change in the capacity is made but no profit is added also okay so we would write we would not write anything because no profit is added here now a function would be called since we have omitted this still we are left with three items only we are not left with four items okay we are left with three items so again i was four i would be minus one in both cases i would be minus one because after each call one of my items has been included or excluded and we are left with the rest of that and capacity will not change okay you can see here the capacity is not changed and here the capacity is deducted because i have included this weight so this is my first recursive call now i should return the maximum profit out of that okay unless and until i return that my function is not complete so i would return the maximum value maximum profit which either of these two functions return me okay now there are few boundary conditions also which you should remember what happens if i have taken the decision for this item one which is to include this and to exclude this and after that i came to item zero so is there any item zero present here is there any item zero present here no it is not present here so whenever after decreasing i again i will decrease it so if my i value is equal equal to zero okay then my profit will be zero because at the zeroth index or the zero there is no zero item present here okay so the profit is zero only it is null again one thing i would like to mention is like what happens if my capacity if my capacity from six it comes to zero means i have achieved a weight of six kgs now then also i would return a profit of zero because after that i cannot add anything or gain more profit from it because i already i have achieved my capacity so also if my c is equal equal to zero so this is the two condition one more condition is that assume i am having a capacity of 6 kg here okay i am having a capacity of 6 kg here and this item weight was not 3 kg assume this to be as 8 kg so can i include this is it possible to include this in my knapsack my knapsack is of 6 kg and this item is only of 8 kg so it is not possible to include this okay so in this case also we would have a profit of zero not a profit of zero okay sorry in this condition what will happen now i would have to skip this item okay if it is of 8 kg my knapsack is of 6 kg i would have to skip this item so my i value will come here and the same function will be called here only so no profit will be added but only my function call will decrease okay capacity will also not change because i have not included any item hmm. when now if the w of i is greater than c means w of i is at this 8 is greater than my c which is my capacity okay so this entire thing makes my recursive equation okay now since we have written this recursive equation for our knapsack problem so okay it is freshly written here so let us understand this with an recursive tree and let's know what are the overlapping sub problems which are here so the overlapping sub problem means a same similar function if it is also called somewhere else then we have to recalculate it okay we will be clear by this recursive tree only so i have taken this knapsack as an example here i have taken all the same bits just to show you the recurs uh, the overlapping sub problems uh, it could have different weight also in question just for an example i have taken this okay these are the profit associated with it and assume my capacity is is 3 kg okay so now based on our recurrence relation which we have drawn here is that we know that for an item we can have two choices which is to include this if i include then this function will be called and if i don't include this function will be called these and these are my boundary conditions okay so initially i said that i will be starting with the num total number of items which we are having which is 4 and the c which is the capacity which is 3 here okay so initially the function would be called as 4 comma 3 okay this 4 is my weight and uh, not sorry this 4 is my 
items sorry number of items okay and this c and this 3 is my capacity okay just con don't confuse it okay this 4 is the number of items and this c is the capacity okay as i have written here also so here we can have two calls okay first is to include this fourth item and second is to exclude this fourth item okay now if i include this fourth item what would happen now this function would be called i am not adding any profit now okay i just need to know whether any function is recalling itself or not okay so it would call this one first okay that is i minus 1 and c minus w at i okay so function would be called i minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 and c minus w at i c is 3 and w at 4 is 1 okay so 3 minus 1 is Similarly, for here, what happens now? Now, i minus 1 happens because I have not included this. I am following this function i minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3. But here I can see my capacity remains same. So it was 3 and it will remain 3. Okay, no change in my capacity because I have excluded this. Now I would again make a call here. What happens now? This is my i this is my c here so i could the, i am currently standing at item number three i have again two options whether to take this or to exclude this okay so initially i take this while taking this i call i minus one which is three minus one which is two and i perform c minus w at i okay c is two and w at three is one okay two minus one is one and excluding this what i get is i minus 1 which is 2 and no change in my capacity so it is 2 itself no change here in my capacity okay what happens here let's see this is my i and this is my c okay so <coughs> i could again take this and not take this i am at item number 3 Okay, again I have two calls to make whether to include this item number 3 or to exclude this item number 3. If I include this again i minus 1 function of i minus 1 means two minus, uh, 3 minus 1 it is 2 and capacity will be c minus w at i. So 3 minus w at 3. 3 minus w at 3 is 1 means 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, then here what happens now? my index will decrease i minus 1 which is 2 but no change in my capacity so it will remain 3 okay so by here i can see an overlapping sub problem which is this okay so assume this would have called 1 2 Assume this would have called more six functions, okay, and then it would have returned a value. Then what we need to do for this function also, these are same functions, okay, two comma two and two comma two. Then for these functions also, I need to make six calls, similar to this. These two calls are same, so this is just a waste of time, okay. Again, calling these functions here, same functions again calling those here. So now comes our memoization process so what we do is that the value which we return here i store this value in an array array or any kind of data structures which we could use array okay now when again this function call happens after traversing all these things i come here and i see and i check whether this uh, function call has been made previously or not and yes, I found in my array that yes, this function call has been made. So instead of calling these six function calls again, what I do, I just fetch the value from this array and pass it here. Okay. As a result, I don't have to call these same functions again and again. So this is the meaning of memoization. Okay. I think I have shown you what is uh, the overlapping sub problems. Okay. I have not uh, ended this problem because it would take much more time my intention was to show you the overlapping sub problem here okay so in my further coming videos i will be showing you the entire code for this 01 knapsack and okay if you like this video then please like and comment your views in it and please subscribe to my channel on demand coding 
Thank you. Be with me. I will be showing the entire code for this knapsack problem.